The Los Angeles Kings hosting the Florida Panthers. The Panthers are minus 145 on money line. The Kings are plus 122. The over under is six and a half goals. The Panthers laying the goal and a half are plus 152, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two, while the Kings getting a goal and a half are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. The Panthers are two and nine against the spread so far this year. The over-under is five and five in the games in which they've played, and they are three and four on the road. For whatever the reason is, the, King, the Panthers have been playing down to their opponent. Now, the Kings are 7-6 against the spread. The over is 8-3 in the games in which they played, and they are 2-3 and three at home. Head-to-head, -head, the Kings are on a three-game winning streak against the Panthers. The Kings are 6-4 and four against the Panthers in their last 10. The underdog has won the last three games. The under has hit in their last two games. The over is 5-4-1. and one. However, the under 6.5 is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line, winning the game outright, and the team getting a goal and a half is 8-2 and two in their last 10. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. The last game that they played, the Kings won 3-2 in a shootout. The game before that, the Kings won 4-1. The game before that, the Kings won 5-4. The game before that, the Panthers won 4-3. And the game before that, the Panthers won 4-3. The Kings are one of these teams that when I pick with them, they get me. When I pick against them, they get me. Seemingly, the Panthers have been struggling on this West Coast trip, at least from what I've seen. I'm going to take the Kings with the money line, the Kings getting the goals, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.